to the the second round of the. But uh, first, oh, we are yeah, going so. to talk about our amazing sponsor down in the corner there, Rogue Energy Drink. We actually got our first order in, and here is what we are calling the Shirakawa Special. I just yep. call it that because I think the anime character reminds me of Mina Shirakawa. This was $17. It comes with six little samples inside there that you can see. You get to pick which flavors you want. Um, I have had the privilege of trying the Pina Colada, which is very, very sweet, very pineapple-y. I have tried the sour candy one, which literally tastes like you're drinking liquefied Sour Patch Kids. I Love it. Handle that. <laughs> oh, the, the blood orange one tastes like you're actually eating pieces of orange. The blue raspberry one is very interesting. It doesn't remind me of blue raspberry fruit. It reminds me of blue raspberry bubble gum, which is nice. delicious. And then I also got the uh, the rocket pop one. It tastes like you're eating a rocket pop. If I, you're and I gotta pick my stuff up from you too. So yeah, I mean, that one's boundaries. I've already dug into mine. <laughs> I just haven't had a chance to stop by your place to get it. So, but yeah, if you want, check the QR code down in the right corner down there. Uh, scan that, and when you get to the website, or use the link that's rolling across the bottom. And if you use the code OLE pods, you get 10% off your order. Please support them. They support us. And with, and just thank you so much. If you, if you can, anything you can do to, to help, we really do appreciate it. And of course they are vegan. So if anyone has any issues mm. with that, they are vegan. There you go. So now let's move into the second round. There we go. <laughs> the second, the second round, AKA the semifinals first match is going to be Kyrie versus the alpha female Jazzy Gabbard. This happened on October 23rd at the first night of the uh, start of Tag League, which we will be talking about next week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, because, you know, stuff doesn't come out. Oh, stuff comes out super late with uh, stardom. So, but yeah, dude, this, this was like, um, this, we talked about the dominance Jazzy had with Ava. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. She, you look, it, it looked like she was like, Two, two full Kyries plus a little more bigger than Kyrie. Like, she dwarfed. Yes. <laughs> that was but, literally but, the first thing I said was the size difference is almost offensive. <laughs> it, it's crazy. But Kyrie is, though, a very small girl. She mm -hmm. is very small. But it literally looked like you could put two Kyries in. It, it, two Kyries wouldn't even make a full Jazzy. It's what it almost looked like. Just like I have to oh agree. God, she, she, she was very so dominantly small. outpowered in, in that match, definitely. If if they were yeah. going fisticuff to fisticuffs, I don't know that Kyrie well, would have Kyrie would, Kyrie would that. throw like five forearms and Jazzy would just look at her and then smack her once and Kyrie <laughs> would go down. That was the power difference. Mm -hmm, and there was a mm -hmm. spot where uh, Jazzy was on the floor and Kyrie comes off with a crossbody and Jazzy just catches her with like mm -hmm. she was nothing, runs her yeah. into the post and then slams her on the chairs. Like, yeah, was that when she like, caught her into the suplex part and then slammed her into the, the pole? Then she caught her and shut her up on yeah. her for like a power slam, then ran her into the yeah. pole. Then ran and just like dropped her on like the chairs, the fans did, and they, the chant, the fans moved and she went and just dropped them on the chairs. Yeah. I was just like, oh, like there's padding there, but it's still like there's metal. Like that wouldn't have felt mm -hmm. good being dropped mm -hmm. on those chairs. Like, ah. Oh. 100%. I actually said that Jazzy kind of came in like a wrecking ball on Kyrie on the outside there. <laughs> Shout out Miley Cyrus. Like okay. Yeah, I, can't do that. I don't want to get But then I also it. said the Look same thing it. you did. Um, Kyrie feeding forearms to Jazzy and them doing absolutely nothing to her. I definitely yeah. felt like Kyrie was dominated for a good chunk of this match before she was able to start picking away at Jazzy by putting her down. I think she started taking out her leg initially. Yeah. But um yeah, it, you know, she, it worked, she worked, really worked the leg and then was just trying to be as high impact as she could with mm -hmm. like and but like there was the one press spot where Jazzy ended up like was fighting back and just grabbed Kyrie by the neck, just lifted her and just tree slammed her down. Foster. I was like, oh, I love, I love seeing the power, especially with like how big Jazzy is compared to Kyrie when she's doing these mm -hmm. big power spots to Kyrie. It just was 
satisfying in a sense. Like, not that I, I mean, hate Kyrie. I love Kyrie. That's a but... no ball in a fight, though. I am five foot three. I'm usually the one being lifted and man in. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like, just like Kyrie ended up getting like two running neck breakers and then a spear mm-hmm. into the corner. Like and like just running like full steam, like her whole body with the spear, sending her into the corner, and she like sits in the corner. So Kyrie does her mar- her march thing, and then does the sliding D with the forearm right <laughs> yeah. into the corner. I was like, Grr. I like I like everything about this was like, yes, Kyrie, Kyrie. I love Kyrie Saint. Aww. I think she is absolutely phenomenal. I've been a fan mm-hmm. of her since her time in NXT. Again, I didn't watch before, but I was so happy watching this. Getting to see the best stuff with Kyrie, but like getting to see mm-hmm. how imp- truly impressive that Jazzy Gabbard is. Like you can't mm-hmm. take anything away from her. And there's mm-hmm. one spot where uh Jazzy literally clotheslines her down and then gets on top and just like starts throwing palm strikes to mm-hmm. her face. Like to, mm-hmm. to Kyrie, so like Kyrie's covering up, but she's just like bang, 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 bang. Like just palm. Like I loved it that she wasn't like throwing fists. Like she was mm-hmm. throwing the palm, like the palm strikes. I was very impressed by that. Like, just the palm strikes. I, I really, I don't know. Like I just, you never see people <laughs> throwing palm strikes other than maybe Kyle O'Reilly. And I was just mm-hmm. like, oh, I loved it so much. And then she moved into like a modified Cobra clutch. Mm-hmm. And and like, but Kyrie did get out of that. It, but it was just she struggled with that one. Though I literally thought it was over there because like she, I did she was so far from the ropes when it started. Like mm-hmm. she worked over, but I thought it was over. I'm like, there's no way Kyrie's getting out of this unless she pulls like a like a Bret Hart and rolls up, rolls over to do the pin or something. Unless it was yeah. something like that, there was no way she was getting out of it. So like, mm-hmm. I really liked it. And then Jazzy after after that hit this huge dominator, like mm-hmm. the inverted power slam for yeah. but only got a two. Like you could audibly hear like the 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 announcers. I don't know what they were saying, but she hit it. And then when she kicked out, they all went oh on, on there. I don't know what they were saying. <laughs> but they were all re- like they all like reacted like crazy mm-hmm. when when. Uh, when Kyrie kicked out because that was a huge, huge mm-hmm. comeback from that one. Mm-hmm. But in the end, Kyrie did end up hitting her spinning back fist. Then and Jazzy had actually taken the corner pad down at one point. So mm-hmm. Kyrie ended up spearing her into the corner that it was exposed and Jazzy ended up going down. And Kyrie mm-hmm. came off the top with when I heard the when I heard the announcer yell insane when he yelled insane I was just like and she comes yeah. out with that insane elbow I loved it and uh, yeah she got the insane elbow and got the three count and win I thought like perfect like I wanted to see Ava do well Ava do well I wanted to see Jazzy do well but I was when I saw Kyrie was announced for the second round I'm like there is no way they're going into the historic crossover mm-hmm. show and not have Kyrie as one of the two people in that title match. 100%. But that's not yeah. to take away from Jazzy. I mean, like, for no. her, like, f- for me, being 38, pushing 40, Jazzy's already 40, and she's hitting the pinnacle of her career. Like, I feel like she's about to blast off at 40. That is incredible. This is this is just the tip of the iceberg for her, just like how you um, feel about Suzu Suzuki. This yeah. is just oh. the beginning for Jazzy. Yeah, and, and the fact that, like, and I know a big part of her getting into stardom originally um becoming uh, her you know, her stepfather is masahiro chono oh well geez yeah she, her stepdad <laughs> is, or, I, I don't have a stepdad or adopted dad but like she like that's her dad like her stepdad or dad wow. that, that is like her adopted is that's her that's dad an is I, remember chris Char- I remember chris charlton mentioning it on the royal quest when show during her match with Ava. i just remembered it right now but yeah but like she she it, like she's been in, and she's been in this business for a long long time mm-hmm. you gotta like, she's been around a long time like i'm pretty sure she was in tna at one point back in like 06 07 when she, just, when she was right just known now. as alpha female because i remember mm-hmm. her because she came in i think helping aj styles back then so she's been around this business for like 20 like probably close to 20 years at this point wow. like like she's been around a long time. She's been around since the mid two thousand. So she's coming up on twenty years if if it's not already. So like it's impressive how and how she's still in the incredible shape she's it is. Uh-huh. And like I I and how impressive she still is at forty. Like I I'm hundred percent. Like I said, new that. idol here. <laughs> and then Kyrie, like you can't take anything from Kyrie. This girl has she's an absolute superstar. In mm-hmm. professional and professional wrestling for one and mm-hmm. 
No, she's just like I love this match. She's like, a very quality and wrestler in that she's got that oh. well-roundedness of entertaining ability, but also that unparalleled ability to perform in ring. Combined, she's just unstoppable. Definitely. 